Have you ever wondered what happens if someone smashes a tennis ball inside a moving car? Let's say the car is moving at 30 kilometers per hour. The player smashes the ball at 50 kilometers per hour. Now the ball's speed is 80 kilometers per hour. The speeds stack, but here's the crazy part. If that ball hits you, how much would it hurt? Does it hurt more because of both speeds? Hmm, speed plus momentum equals bigger impact? Let's break it down. When you smash a tennis ball inside a moving car, the speeds combine because of something called relative velocity. If the ball is hit in the same direction as the car's movement, the total speed equals car speed plus smash speed. So, 30 kilometers per hour, car, plus 50 kilometers per hour, smash, equals 80 kilometers per hour. Now here's what matters. Faster speed equals more momentum, and momentum equals mass times velocity. Even though a tennis ball is light when it's flying at 80 kilometers per hour, it packs a punch. If that ball hits you, the impact is harder than if it was just smashed at 50 kilometers per hour standing still. It's like getting hit with extra force thanks to the car's motion. So next time you play tennis in a car, maybe wear a helmet.